Uh, welcome, sorry for the bad lighting, I'm trying to fix that, but it's a first review, uh, Dino here. I'm going to be reviewing uh, the, well, recently released, uh, punk rock trapped in one place thriller horror from uh, writer-director Jeremy Solnier, I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's called Green Room. Now, Green Room has uh, Mogan Poots and Aliyah Shawkat and... Patrick Stewart. If I mispronounce any of the names, I, I do apologize. Um, but it's about a punk rock band who goes to this outside of the rest of civilization type of club that is inhabited by Nazi punk rockers and uh, owned by Patrick Stewart. So in the uh, after they, they finish a gig, they witness something pretty brutal. Uh, murder, actually. And uh, they are basically locked in this room to uh, keep alive, basically. it's uh, that's that's about as much of the plot as I could uh, as I could give away without getting too much into it. I went into this movie completely blind, uh, which is very rare. I usually like to keep my ear to the grindstone when it comes to films. But uh, I always would see adverts for this around, like just simple click here or um, just simple image uh, advertisements and whatnot. But um, yeah, when uh, when it got intense, it got intense. <laughs> now, I went in uh, totally just expecting nothing, really. And what I got is just an amazing experience. Um the performances alone, can I say, uh, of the punk rock band uh, and Miss uh, Miss Poots, uh, you really feel for them. You feel like it's it's you stuck in the situation, and you could put yourself in there too, whether or not you're in a punk rock band or not. But the the way that the situation carries out, it goes from uh, basically a right kerfuffle. To basically, shit is completely out of hand, and we got to fight for our lives. So, uh, Patrick Stewart is a brilliant actor. We all know this. But in this particular role, it really is nice for him to step out of the comedy light for a little bit, which he's been in for a while, and uh, get back into the serious roles. And he was fucking brilliant. Um... He plays, I believe the character's name is Darcy, who runs the club, but he's also this Nazi leader. Like everybody, this this like a father figure to these uh, green wooded Nazis, and he's just a problem solver. And he's running a tight ship, and everybody's just like, "Yes, what are the orders? What are the rules? Uh, how are we going to do this?" And it's just it the dedication that his soldiers had to him was pretty, like, eerie. And um, the thing that I loved about this movie wasn't so much the gore, it wasn't the, the, the violence itself, but the fact that you did not know who uh, is going to make it, or if they're going to make it, or who, what is the, what is the moral to the story. Like, you honestly feel a bit of hopelessness in this film. And by the end of it, you're just completely drained. Like, you feel like you've been in that room with them until the next day and the next day. And, you know, you just feel like you've just been trapped in this place forever. And you're walking out and you're seeing the sky and you're just like, I don't ever want to go back in there. But um, personally, I would like to see it again. Uh, if it, when it comes out on Blu-ray, I'm definitely going to buy that shit right away because it is intense it is well done. It is well everything, really. It's 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 refreshing in a ways. I'm a fan of the trapped in one particular space kind of films, and um, yeah, this definitely um, is a new favorite. Um, the director himself did uh, Blue Ru Ruin, excuse me, which I still need to check out. But I did uh, see one of his first efforts, uh, Murder Party. Which wasn't too bad. Um, it caught a lot of craze and uh, praise, craze and praise, um, when it first came out, and I was pretty impressed by it for being a, a low-budget effort. So this, uh, it's nice to see the evolution of him and uh, in his work. So, so yeah, um, this is a brief one, but it's a first run. So please 
forgive me if it seems like I got no format. But um, yeah, Green Room. It's limited release, but seriously, I would say it's worth finding in whatever theater you live near. So check it out.